Hello everyone, this is Maurice Lee. And in this short video, I want to discuss um, an issue or try to clarify an issue that some users have been having when using SkewGrid. Um, I have received a number of messages in my inbox concerning SkewGrid not functioning properly in regards to catching items which are gone out of stock as well as repricing items according to uh, changes on a supplier's website. Um, however, I think the major problem with this is that uh, we are still in an educational phase with learning how to use the tools and how to use them effectively. And there are some things that uh, many people don't know about in regards to how the tools function. And I think if this knowledge is made known to you, um, you will better be able to run your uh, eBay business and use these tools the correct way. So in this video, I want to try to deal with that issue. And the issue is uh, people saying that um, an item have gone out of stock, for example, and it's showing out of stock on the supplier's website, but SKU Grid didn't take it down from eBay. Or there was a price change, say the price increased, and skew grid didn't increase the price on eBay. Therefore, it caused you to lose a few dollars or lose some money. Um, the tool works well. I think after this video, you will better understand where um, the problem is coming in at. And it all boils down to understanding the function of the different, um, what? I guess I can say fields within SkewGrid. So I don't have a sophisticated video recorder or anything like that. So I basically took some pictures and made a slide. And hopefully this will be uh, value content that will help you better understand how to use it. Okay, so um, the problem I truly believe lies in understanding the function of two tabs two time periods. And as you see here, this first box, the time period in this box determines SKU grid, uh, when SKU grid will reprice or remove an eBay listing due to out of stock or even price changes. This is what triggers a repricing of an item or an item being taken down from um, eBay, okay? This function is not triggered by the email notifications you receive it is triggered by the time set in this box. And this is very important. Um, I think that many of you, when you receive your email notification, and say, for example, the email notification that you receive from SKU Grid says item, you know, out of stock, you think that because SKU Grid was the one who sent you the notification, that it also repriced or removed your item from eBay for you. And that is not the case. That is not the function. Um, that is not the function of the notifications, as we can see here. So this field actually deals with the notification. The time in this box determines how often you receive notification of price and inventory changes on your supplier's website. That is the only reason for notification. That is the only task or function of notification. It is just to notify you that some type of activity has taken place on the supplier's rep website associated with the items that you have, uh, the items you have been tracking. So for example, um, if you get a notification and it says price increase, even though you got that notification, that does not mean that SKU Grid um, also went and changed the price on eBay according to, um, you know, the information they got from your supplier. Um, there's a very important note, as you can see to the right down to the bottom um, of the screen. And this deals with the fact that SKU Grid actually checks an item every 20 minutes throughout the day. And that's another thing. If you look up to the top, you see it says a run checker every hour or whatnot. Um, I think that titling may be confusing people also because it's not, uh, um, how can I explain it? Well, just know that 
skew grid is actually checking an item every 20 minutes. And the notifications that I have on my account set for real time is actually connected to this 20 minute check. So for example, in any hour of the day, SKU Grid is gonna check your item three times. Now it may send a notification or it may not. And the notification is gonna come based upon the information that it received, that SKU Grid uh, received or obtained from the supplier at that time of the check. So when it runs a check 20 minutes, within maybe let's say a minute or so, almost real time, it's gonna send me a notification notifying me of the changes that occurred and it found. But it's not gonna change anything on eBay for me. It is not the function of notification. So again, you may be receiving a notification saying price increase. SKU grid didn't, may not have changed it because it's not time for it to change. This is very important to note. So for example, you see here, I got a bunch of notifications throughout the day. It's not the same item, but you can see the time period. It's like minutes apart that I'm always getting notifications. And one of them in there, uh, if you look towards the middle, you will see stock change. When it says stock change, it's usually dealing with out of stock or in stock. Now, at the time I got this notification, which, which was 344, and it says out of stock. That does not mean SKU Grid went ahead and took my item down at 344. 344 is only the time that I received the notification. It's giving me information to help me better manage my account. So you must know that these two fields are totally or have totally different functions. Again, the one at the top is the time period in, when you, uh, in which SKU Grid would actually reprice or take down your item. And the second one is just a time period in which eBay, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, SKU Grid will send you notifications based upon what it found during its 20 minute check. So to try to better clarify this, let's take an example. Okay, I have my set, my setting set for one hour um, to have my inventory, you know, repriced or taken down based upon that. So being that I have mine set for one hour, let's say that is 1 p.m., okay? So within one hour, which would be 2 o'clock from 1 p.m., it would be 2 p.m., that is when SKU Grid is going to jump into action and take my items down or reprice my items, rather increase or decrease, based upon the information at that particular time. That is, you know, the information that is valid at that particular time, okay? I have my notifications set to almost real time. So what, the, uh, what this means is that when SKU Grid does its check, it's gonna send me a notification of what it found. So let's move down to the bottom of the screen and we see, let's just say the supplier, okay, so I have an item up. The item is totally listed, it's being tracked and everything at 1 p.m. Now, at 1.15 p.m., a supplier inventory change occurred and it happened to go out of stock. Now, it has been, it will have been out of stock for five minutes, right, before I even get a notification from SKU Grid. But let's say at 1.20, which is 20 minutes from one o'clock, SKU Grid goes, does its check, sees that the item is out of stock, then it sends me a notification, okay, inventory change, and it tells me what it is, out of stock. However, there's still 40 minutes that I have set for SKU Grid to leave everything like it is and not reprice or take my item down. Again, it's set for one hour, so one hour from one o'clock, would be 2 p.m. So even though SKU Grid is giving me this information, it is not even allowed to go and change my, change my listing until 2 p.m. So if you understand this, now you may understand why you may look at an item and it says that the item is out of stock but SKU Grid didn't do anything to, to, to fix the problem, so to speak. It has been out of stock. 
And just take into consideration, I'm pretty sure most people have their settings set at three hours or even six hours. So if you have yours set at six hours, for example, and the price, uh, the stock, um, uh, the inventory went out of stock at three o'clock, excuse me, and you have yours set to reprice or take down at six o'clock, you still have three hours before SKU Grid is even allowed to take action on your item. Even though you had received a notification that the item went out of stock um, at what I said, three o'clock. So what can we do in this situation? Because I'm, you know, obviously I know everyone cannot set their uh, time for one hour because they don't have enough credits. I have credits built up, but I know this is not the norm. So what you can do when you receive the notifications, which is really, I mean, that's excellent to get notifications every 20 minutes on something that has changed and not be charged for it. So what you can do in this situation, when you get an email notification from SKU Grid, especially out of stock, right? Go to the item in your grid. If it's out of stock, press force reprice. Once you press force reprice, it's going to force SKU Grid to take action regardless of the time that you have in your settings. And it would do a force reprice. It would read that, and then it would take that item down. That's the way you combat that. But you must know that it is not the system. A lot of us have our settings set up in a way that, you know, doesn't allow SKU Grid to do anything for you, you know, because you have it set up that way. If you have it set up um, at smaller um, intervals, then you will see the difference. So hopefully this helps us understand um, the inconsistencies in regards to information um, saying that item, the item is out of stock or a price change, whether it's increase or decrease, and what is actually showing on eBay or what SKU Grid has actually done. And this is the reason. This is the reason. There are some other things that we're going to discuss in the very near future concerning um, um, this, same, this same situation. But as we continue to deliver this content to you, I guarantee your confidence in this tool or these tools are going to increase every single time. Every day I find out something new about these tools that I did not know. And it just, you know, it just increases my confidence in the tools. So again, hopefully this was uh, helpful to you all in understanding um, the email notifications as well as when your items will be repriced or taken down from eBay. If you have any um, questions concern, concerning anything I said in this video, um, feel free to message me um, on Facebook and if I can answer the question or get the answer for you, I will gladly do so. So hopefully this helps again and happy listening.